Hello. Hi. Welcome to our studio here in Helsinki. It's very snowy outside and it's really cold, but it's warm here in our penthouse studio. Today we're going to take a look at priority class vocal edit of our song that was included on our album called Caller Unknown. But uh, when we performed the song live, we wanted to have vocals for it. So when we performed this song on our tour last October, in October 2023, I always did the vocals slightly differently. Like when we rehearsed for the tour, like I, I had something written down, not the complete lyric, mm. but something that was left over from our album. But yeah, I, I just uh, took those lyrics and always sang something, mm. like not, not even anything like with proper melody, mm. but just spoke the lyrics on top of the song. And, uh, yeah, and the structure was uh, always a bit different. Yeah, it too. was always a bit different. Yeah, yeah. We've always sung mm. on our gigs, even from the very beginning, like even from our first gigs. And yeah. then the music was really, really like only instrumental, but mm. we were always doing something with our voices mm. through effects, like yeah. a lot of reverb, a lot of delay. Mm. Our voices have always been like one instrument. And especially in front of an audience, you feed off the energy that comes from the audience. And it's it's like really easy to give some of that energy back with your voice. Mm. Like probably for you, I think it might be easier for you to play mm. that energy yeah. through a synthesizer or a yeah, piano yeah, yeah. Than for me, because I can't really, like, I can play the guitar and I can play the synthesizer a little bit. Yeah. It's like a bit like a foreign language. For instance, in German, like, I can I can speak German, but I can't express myself yeah, in German. Yeah. And, uh, and you can express yourself when you are playing the effects on mm-hmm. our gigs, but mm. I think that you, you need to connect with the audience mm-hmm. via your voice. Yeah. That's the way that you want to communicate. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you just, you you have always just started to sing something. Yeah, I can't keep my mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> for, for me, I mean, I mean, I used to be only vocalist mm. in bands. So I guess this is, this is the reason. Yeah, yeah. Like this is the Color Unknown, I, th- I believe it's like the 15th album that uh, I've been on mm. as artist. And it's only the second that is instrumental, yeah. mostly instrumental. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's easy to, when I go in front of an audience, even though I have a sampler, a synthesizer and uh, a vocal effects mm. machine, I have nothing else on, yeah. on our gigs anymore. Uh, even then, I have those and I need to play those and I play our beats and I uh, improvise with the synthesizer and everything. But I still have the microphone and I look at the audience and this is this is the way that I express mm. myself. So I guess that this is why this um, vocal version of this song came about. Yeah. Because we really like the energy in this. To play it live, I I believe that we needed like some bit of extra push to the song. Yeah, and I I think playing it live gave it uh, a new layer of energy. Mm. Yeah. And Mm. then it just developed more energetic and more energetic and then one time you just did that octave <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. octave jump yeah Good priority class and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah was, it happened in Utrecht like I yeah. like the first gig of the tour was Paris yeah and we were like not like nervous or anxious but like really really hyped up about getting to play to a bigger audience than w- what we've usually yeah, yeah. played for. Yeah. And we are, we are, by the way, really grateful to Princess Ghost for um, lending us their audience in that way. On the tour, we were supporting this US-based band called Princess Ghost. And uh, Utrecht was the second show. And that's when like something happened in the drop. And I, I just, like the thing that I used to sing, I just did like an octave higher. I, I can't do it. Like if I if you ask me to do it here and now, it will probably not work that well. But it's just amazing what happens when you're in front of an audience and it gives you this adrenaline yeah. spike and it makes you sing better. Mm. 
And then after that, we decided that we have to make a full vocal version of of the track. Yeah, we were looking at the video where I do this uh, high pitched thing, mm. and it really like something clicked with the yeah. song. It was like really difficult to come back to the studio and yeah. like redo that. <laughs> So, uh, so this is the session. The beginning. There's still some bird song in there. Yeah, because we love the birds. Yeah. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Yeah. Start with the vocal. Yeah. Then listen to only the bass and the drums. Yeah. And the drums include chopped up birds. bird song <laughs> uh, yeah. we chopped the bird song to be uh, on time with yeah. our drums we actually started with the bird song yeah so the birds were there first oh but in the very beginning we have if we only listen to the vocals we have your lead vocal but then we have a track called trademark it's my trademark I always do this yes let's just listen to it one once and <laughs> This. Yeah, I That's do this a lot. Mark. Like I take the ending of a phrase mm. and resample it to another track, mm. and then on top of that, I put on some effects like reverb or delay and uh, make it like wet only, yeah. so that it doesn't clash with the lead vocal. In this case, there is this uh, ping pong delay. Go. Ping pong delay. Yeah. And usually, like in this case, I have actually muted. Yeah, the, the original. The original yeah. track. Yeah. Usually I have that on. Mm. But in this case, I think that the intro sounded fun when the lead vocal actually mutes and all the attention is on the bass for yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a second. And then you hear the delay. Mm. Yeah. Let's listen to that one more time. <laughs> So there's like half a second mm. with just the bass and the drums and then yeah. da, qua, qua, qua. Yes. And I really like that. Yes. What else do we have in the track? We have the verse. We don't actually have a chorus. We, we only have one verse. Yeah, there's only one verse to the yeah. song that we repeat all over again, but uh, the music behind it changes. Yeah. So that the energy will rise in that way. Then we have some backing vocals. Order. Yeah. And the trademark is trademark also is there. there also. Yeah. Do you want to just play the harmonies once? We didn't do these harmonies when uh, playing Thanks. this live because we didn't uh, like I was doing the lead vocal differently mm, every time. Yeah. So you obviously couldn't do harmonies on top. Yeah, of I guess I have to learn to yeah, play no. the. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's really piano thing and uh, sing at the same time because they are in like syncopating a lot. Yeah. Turn back only if you shall pass. Who can afford the priority class? Priority. Yeah. Priority. 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 Who can afford the priority class? Nice. Sounds really nice. Yeah, and it's uh. That could be the lead as well. Yeah. It sounds so good. Yeah. It's doubled. Yeah, so there is. Two it, times. It's very often, uh, very usual 
that we do it like this that I am my vocal is in in the center mm. and her vocals are like that left and right yeah and sometimes when we need to push my vocal a bit mm. then there are three instances of my vocal yeah so there's one in the center one in the very left and one in the very right yeah and your harmonies are going to be like 50 50 yeah and I could hear some vocoder there as well. Yeah, Is there we're... a vocoder down there? The vocoder might actually be on the same track as, as my lead vocal. It's going to be the vocal synth. And I think I have automated it to be on mm. in only some parts. Yeah. If you want to play it solo at once. Yeah, there it is. Glitches. Yeah. This is the tape loop. Yeah. And then is the the riser. It's like a vocal riser. Yeah. Repeat the same thing all over again, it becomes a riser. Yeah. Then there's an octave jump. Yeah. Let's uh, really listen to that. Yeah, let's just listen to that solo. Yeah. A lot of distortion and yeah. effects, obviously. Like I wanted it, like there to be like a delay. Mm. It was really constant for mm. many bars, so I didn't use a delay effect. I actually just took a chop. Of mm. my vocal class, 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 and repeated that. Yeah, it's on a different track. Yeah, actually. <laughs> that sounds like me. Yes, it does. Weird. Our voices are a bit like they're not similar, but they really like sometimes they. They sometimes mix. They mix. mix mix really weirdly yeah. together. <laughs> like. Yeah. Like, I, I hear that a lot, that people are surprised that I actually did some of the vocals mm. on our yeah. records. People think it was you. Mm. And that you sing higher than me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually quite commonplace that yeah. um, I actually do the higher yeah. harmony. Yeah. Because I, I, I find that uh, when I'm singing like really high in falsetto, I, I'm actually in better tune mm. then. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, it's just. It's your thing. Yeah, it's it's my thing. Like, it feels really good to yeah. be up there. Like I don't do it loud. I mm. actually do it really like actually quite quiet. I don't think it's it yeah. possible to. Sing it is loud. possible if you're Robert Plant, but. Okay, but yeah, but <laughs> you're not. I'm not Robert Plant. I'm you're, actually very. You're Lasse. Yes, I, <laughs> very, I am very much not Robert Plant. I would like to be though. Okay. Okay. Then. Do we then have the, the the thing that actually clicked and gave us the song? Mm, yeah, this one. <laughs> that was this. Nice. I love I love it when Björk mm. does this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> thing it really like it's really bad for your voice it like hurts me even to do that like i have a very very bad technique to do that sort of thing and uh, i try to not do that on our gigs because mm. it's like you're gonna lose your voice and your and the, the the gig next day is gonna go bad if you do that a lot but it's okay to do that in uh, in the studio mm, because yeah. then you then you can recover from that mm. This is not even a backing vocal. It's, it's just a. It's, another, it's a, like a duet. Du du duet. Duet. Yeah, kind we did of. a duet at the studio. This this didn't happen on our shows, but it's like a call and response type yeah. Of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah. they are used to to the low, lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sing lower there, and you yeah. go higher. Yeah. And if you, if you're listening to this video on headphones, then you will also hear a thing that I do very often when I'm mm. mixing is that um, if there's only one lead vocal, mm. it's in the center. Yeah. But when another lead vocal, mm. duet vocal, yeah. comes in, I automate the panning mm. of my vocal to be a little bit to the left. Yeah. And mine was on the right. Vo- Hannah's vocal will come on the right. Yeah. And this is very important if you really want to separate the two voices. Mm. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid to automate everything. Oh, oh there's also, your, yeah. Listen, yeah. Uh, because I wanted to, to have a, a delay to Hannah's vocals, mm. so I didn't. Oh! Yeah, there's, there's some uh, effects. Yeah. And a lot of clickiness. Yeah. That's basically also like a mixing mistake, yeah. like a vocal editing mistake. If you hear those blip, blip, those yeah, little clicks yeah, yeah. in when the in the when the vocal edits hit, mm. you hear that little like snappy click, and yeah, uh, yeah that's a mistake. Yeah. But um, I mm-hmm. think it sounded good. So, like, and when you listen when you listen to the full. Full track. Yeah, you cannot hear that. You cannot hear that, and even if you could, if it sounds good, then it's yeah. the mistake is it's, it's a good mistake. That's your call. Yeah. Okay, then we have the second verse, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's only listen to the vocals because. No, it's nice. Who can afford the priority class? Oh, and there was oh, the photo again. And there, yeah. And the trademark to the end. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. It's fun to listen to this. Like even even if we did the mix of this track in. Like December or something. Mm. We are we are making this video at the time of releasing yeah. this in January, mm. January nineteenth, twenty twenty four. So it's only been a bit more than a month mm. since this track was mixed, and I can't remember how it was mixed. Yeah, like, I I don't like if you asked me to do this again, again, yeah. exactly the same way, then mm. I I probably couldn't do it. Mm. If you want to know more about the the track be- behind the um behind the vocals yeah it's going to be in uh, in another video we already talked about that in uh, in the making of series of of the full album yeah and uh, we talk about this song in the very first episode yeah. actually because this is the third song on the album yeah and uh yeah please take a listen to both versions and uh and let us know which one you prefer <laughs> Thank you.